Hi, hello, how are you doing people around the world? In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to do a reverse of a number using Python. So it's quite easy. As you see on the screen, I'm going to use the sublime text editor and also the command prompt to execute our code. First of all, before we're gonna start or before we're gonna write our code, I'm, go I'm gonna show you what is going to happen in the background of, uh, of this. What kind of calcula calculations we have to write to get the reverse of a number. For instance, if the input number uh, it is 251, so the expect output we need it, it is 152. So what kind of wages that we have to write to get this number, all right? So first of all, I'll do like a comment right here to show you these uh, equations that we're gonna type it uh, in each in a Python code, all right? As you see right here, that I'm naming my file well or the pi, it has no meaning, just a random word. So it's uh, name and whatever you want. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the steps or the equations that we have to write. So for instance, the number so here, just a comment showing you what is going to happen in the background, what kind of equations that we have to write to get the, the reverse of this number. All right. The number, uh, as I said, 251. So first of all, we have to calculate its reminder. So reminder, reminder, it is equal to 251 divided by 10. So how we took a calculator just using a piece of paper and pen, so it's quite easy. So here, for instance, 251, just divided by 10. Why exactly 10? Because we need to get it off the last number, all right? So this last number, one. So divided by 10, so what number that we have to multiply by 10 that give us 251? So using just calculator, it's, I think it is, uh, 25 multiplied by 10 it is 251 so I'm sorry 250 so here 250 so here the minus uh, the output or the the reminder it is the hundred uh, one I'm sorry so this is the number 251 the division the or the number that we divide it on it is 10 and the result it is 25 and the reminder it is 1. So we could write it like this. 251 equal 10 multiply by 25 plus 1. But we are just looking for the reminder right now. So just like go back to our code. So uh, I, I, did, I, I had done that just to show you guys how to calculate the reminder using a piece of paper. It's quite easy just using the Euclidean division and you're uh, going to find the result easily. So we calculate the reminder. Uh, we find it equal 1. All right. Now we're going to find the reverse number all right so the reverse number equal reverse number what we're going to do here is just to bring the first number multiply by 10 plus 1 I'm sorry plus the reminder here let's just define the reverse number up here equal to 0 all right just zero nothing else uh, empty a reverse number there ain't nothing in it uh, while the number it is fixed all right i hope it's understandable for you and you see it now so why i did done that just to show you that the reverse number that exists but it is zero it's empty n not exist yet of course uh, i hope understandable so just here just repeat every single thing by its value so here the zero under reminder we find it's one so the reverse number is gonna be like this I'm sorry reverse number equal to one here the reverse number equal to one all right so this equation gonna repeat while the number is bigger than zero, all right? So here, 
we have to define the number have to be bigger than zero and if uh, the number is smaller than zero or minus 251 also just we're gonna multiply it by minus and calculate uh, this or, or do these steps so here wild number is greater than zero it's have to repeat all of these uh, equations so again it's gonna happen number here it's be gonna become number divider by 10 all right why divider by 10 as i said here together of the number all right divider by 10 is going to happen number is becoming number is going to become so just calculator uh, 251 divided by 10 it is 25.1 25 point one but what but we hear the viral in two because we don't need the floating point so just get it off all of the floating point what you see right here you see that the 25 is bigger than zero so this equation or these tabs is going to repeat for the 25 all right so here the number is become 20 uh, the number is becomes 25 and the reverse number 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 it is the same equation right here so the reverse number multiplied by 10 plus the remind there all right as you see right here the last reverse number we find it it is equal one so we're gonna repeat it here in one so one a reminder as you see right here that it is one as you see it is one no we have to calculate it again i'm sorry reminder remind the equal again the number divider so number on 10 so the same equation here the number it is 25 so the reminder it is equal to uh, so just calculate it here so 25 by 10 again I'm sorry so just multiply by 2 so here 20 20 so the, re the reminder here it is 5 so 5 and repeat it here so five so to expect output here or the reverse number it is uh, one multiplied by ten ten plus five it is fifty all right so here let's just calculate the number again by getting getting off of the last number in here all right by divided by ten again number equal number divider Two times by ten, we do that just to get it out the floating point. Uh, it's gonna become the number equal. So here, twenty-five divided by ten. So we're let's just uh, show. Uh, I I am here writing everything and then re replace it by its value just to show you how we're gonna work that in background while uh, when we are going to write our code, uh, write our code. All right. So 25 divided by 10, it is, it is 5, it is uh, 2.5, so 2.5, I said already, we don't need the floating point, so just remove it, alright. As you see right here, that the number 2 is still greater than 0, so it's going to repeat the same process. So the number again, it is 2, so the reminder, reminder mine there equal number again number the divider 10 so and it's going to happen like this so reminder equal so here two so let's just calculate it right here so two divided by 10 
So what we have to multiply here? Just zero. So zero. So the reminder is two. All right. So the reminder here is two. The reverse number equal also the reverse number multiply by ten plus reminder. All right. As you see here, that the reverse number we have from here it is fifty plus the reminder it is two. So here the reverse number it is equal to. Uh, 50 multiple by 10 it is 150 as I think so let's just calculate it 150 plus 2 it is 152 it is 152 it's gonna continue the process to calculate the number what it is so the number here also number divider by 10 what is going to happen here Number here we have it equal to as you see right here. So two multiple divided by ten it's equal to so let's just calculate it easy. Uh it is two point zero, so it is zero point two, I'm sorry. It is zero point the zero point two and we don't need the floating point, so here it is zero. What is see right here? That's zero not greater than zero actually it's equal to zero so so until here the price is gonna stop because we we need to continue this process while the number so while number is greater than zero if it's zero it's gonna break out right so this is the step that gonna happen in here uh, I hope you understand how it's gonna happen, uh, what is going in the background. So, or what going to do right now, just to write our code. So, let's define a function, call it, for instance, uh, reverse number, like this, and give a value of number. Cool. And here, let's just define the number, or define the reverse number equal to zero, and see while the number is greater than zero while well, number greater than zero you have to do this kind of steps or of these steps right here so reminder equal to a number 10 and the reverse number is going to equal to reverse number multiplied by 10 plus reminder and the number is gonna calculate her by equaling number 10 so this is the price that's gonna happen here and at least uh, at last we're gonna uh, print the reverse number all right we have to print it in here so print reverse number so let's just here define our function or the find number to give it an input so input like this enter for instance enter uh, any number to return return its uh, its reverse number its reverse number all right cool and let's just say that number it is an integer all right uh, all right now all we have to do just to call our function to run it so like this and give the value of number so now we are good to go so let's just save our well code or well well file and run in our command prime. So just value that pi. Run it. Uh, enter any number to return its reverse number. Let's just type 251. As you see right here, it is uh, 152. So it's the reverse of this number. We could here add some messages like the original number is the 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 reverse of this number is actually you could add that by yourself so let's rerun our code to a bigger number to see if it uh, gonna reverse it correctly so value that pi 
So let's just tie for instance um, six thousand and five hundred, or let's just type nine eight seven six five four three two one. So the expect output should be from one up to nine. So as you see right here, it's the results from one up to nine. So in the background, all of these steps is happen in a minute or in a under a second actually. Uh, so that's it. And if the the number is greater than or uh, smaller than zero, so let's just define a function here called if number zero what you have to do all you gotta do just number is going to equal number multiplied by minus one that's it you have to just multiply by minus one recalculator and in easy way so that's it so if we just save and run it again that pi and tie for instance minus 100 250 so as you see right here the output is 151 so that is how to write the reverse of uh, a negative number and also of a positive number they are all the same easy steps so i hope you get oh, what i'm trying to explain to you and thank you for watching and see you next tutorials guys